So here it is. As you can see, he's, he's cracked this part away. Got some depth to his soul, but as you can see, this, this area of the floor is broken away, which makes it almost impossible to nail a shoe to. So we're going to rebuild that area uh, by putting the form on. Allow it to grow out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare this area for the formal, take away some of this broken up um, old lamina here, reduce some leverage off the toe, make sure there's no seed toe getting up in here. But we're just going to then prep this area, see how far it's gone, and trim with the Paddy James to wrap it up, and then we'll take a sander and we'll remove this area. Just check how deep this runs, and we're going to reset this white line. See, we're at the bottom of it. Just gonna remove the last little bit with our knife, make sure we get the base of it. So it's cleaned out now. And that way we've got all the infected area clean, and then we're gonna put a, a uh, copper sulfate laminal mix in there. To make sure we have uh, no bacteria growing in there and help with the foot growth. So we're gonna prep the bottom of his foot, just gonna clean out here beside his frog first, just to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm not gonna try and remove too much to peel off the base. Just the excess cleaning without taking a whole lot off. We just want it, because this stuff is going to be secured underneath the form hoof, we want it to go down as straight as possible. So moving it back to its nice straight plane within reason allows us to have a much better foot at the end of the cycle. So here's a grinder. The last little piece with the loop knife. Clean those nice junctions up so there's no thrush or anything captured down in there. Of course, we're going to medicate under there just to make sure, but we'd like to create a nice clean environment for which this foot to sit in for the next five or six weeks while this area grows back. Yeah, so, as you can see, I haven't taken a lot of sole callus out. I've left a fair bit of that in, because we want to keep that as much as possible. Put the heels back, so they're nice and round, and they're not move, rolling forward. Uh, they can probably come back even a little bit more, but we're just gonna let this foot grow out in a nice, even plane. So we'll bring that heel back a little bit more, so it doesn't want to continue to roll underneath. Because he's not gonna need this foot callus, his actual natural foot callus to walk around on the next little while, you can actually bring them back a little bit further, so you get a nice, straight hoof plane. And then that way you've got a strong heel when you come out in, the, in six weeks. So we're going to apply a size five barefoot mould. 
uh, on the front. And then we're gonna use the mesh. Of course, we're gonna use a double mesh today. So the mesh, as we spoke about, has V's in it. It's most important that the V's are pointing that way with the frog. And if you can see there, the frog is pointing the same way as the V's on the mesh. We then double it up, double it over, line it up with the front. And what we're gonna do is make sure we trim around here. Now we're not going to trim it too tight because you can always trim the excess later but this just gets a general size and a straight line spin it around and the same on this side right. and then fit the mesh make sure it's going to fit in there nice and show nice and tight much excess we've got at the front, the back, but it's most important to have plenty of mesh here in the quarters, both sides, because that allows uh, the foot to sit down in it and still have enough mesh to maintain strength here in the main areas of movement in the horse's foot. Okay, we can open up our form horse advanced polymer. So we twist, lift off, keeping the nut, take the plunger out. Now, when we've got the tip, we're looking for the wide side and the short side. So we have a wide side and a short side. And that lines up with the wide side and short side on top of the glue. That holds it in place. We then put the nut back on, twist it, and that secures the tube to the uh, tip. So to put, it in, uh, put our Formhoff Advanced Pilot into the gun, we slide it in at the first notch. It should click in place, and then it won't fall out. Then the ratchet works. So today we're going to use a trick that a good friend of mine, Deborah Taylor, uses. The copper sulfate and toothpaste. So the toothpaste holds it together, stops it moving, keeps the medication in place, stops it running out. And that way we've got enough material down uh, in the areas that if you're worried about any bacteria. The, you can see in there, right down in there, we've got good penetration and it'll hold in that area. Then we're going to use it as well over here. We'll stick it up in here. That way we've got a couple of sulfate up in this area and along here. Any of these areas that wait a bit of bacteria getting going, you can actually see holes in place. And it gives it a minty flavour and smell. So we've got the mesh and the mould. We're gonna make sure it's we can hold our thumbs in, holding the mesh upwards. When we slide it over the quarters, hook the toe. And then we slide it up. Make sure the mesh stays in place. See on the sides, the mesh is all the way up here. Check on the other side. And then we the same. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure we squeeze down here at the toe to make sure there's enough concavity for the material to run under here. So there's enough space. So let's put it on the ground and see how fit it is. Yeah, it's a good fit. Let's get our edges all up. Making sure, making sure we've got uh, material all the way to the top. These areas are okay because they are good fit. Oh, looks like a good fit. I'm going to go ahead and get the urethane into it. So today I'm going to inject it myself. So make sure I've got three good squirts running out. Then I'm looking for that dorsal foot. And I can feel, you can see from at the top here, that it's running over the top, filling that void. Pushing that air out as it goes. Once we've got a good fill there, you can see there's a space. We move up. Up. That pushes the air out even further. You get no air trapped at the back. Now it's filling the void quite well. See how good? Got a good run on. Okay. Make sure you get the heel going around. Edges, run around, put the back pressure into here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is check these top ones, check that they're hard enough and they can bear weight. Put them off, make sure they're popping off, and then we'll put them down and we'll do the edges. Okay. So, make sure our tube is nicely mixed. 
Let's get running around. We don't need as much because we're not feeling as much of a void as we're going to sell. So we're going to remove the injection points first so they don't cut through our moulds. Make sure we've got a nice space. So once we've broken the seal, There's no pressure in these areas. These are our nippers. Careful not to cut the nose. So let's cut the thing. We'll use a pair of scissors and we'll cut along the back. And then snip. Now you wear areas. Snip them off. Yeah. So there's no pressure in here, in the back. Most importantly, don't end up with a pressure point here in the middle of the bulbs. The material holds it together. Here. So we're going to look to take this off and the extra areas. So I'm just going to remove the lip here. Yeah, that's So here's the finished application. You can see, got good coverage all the way up to the back of his foot, filling in that area that he's missing. Reinforced it. It's nice and strong. We've got plenty of mesh up in here, so that'll that allows the foot to expand and contract. So moving around the back, You've got the frog function in there, so his foot can move, expand and contract. This is nice and flexible, so the horse doesn't end up with rubs. It's got good balance, good wide base of support. Put it at the back, coverage on the inside, move your heels strong, mesh around the back, put the heels and bolt support. You can put some brake over in it because we need to, but it's got concavity, which you'll need to allow that foot to function. 